it's Amanda, and this is the state of swatching. <laughs> we are not going to swatch all of this today, but these are all of the um, inks that I have to swatch that I haven't swatched yet. So um, we're going to focus on a few certain ones. Um, and if I get to some of these other ones, great. And if not, it's fine. Let's see this. This. These. These, I've already swatched most of them. So these are some pens, or these ones are pen friends, or ink swatches from uh, Ms. Turtle that I have had forever and haven't had a chance to swatch. So we'll save those for a Swatches with Friends video. Um, these are the ones that I actually want to focus on. I just recently got a Van Ness order, uh, by recently I mean yesterday, with this new Colorverse set, the Butterfly Nebula and NGC 6302. So we'll swatch that. Um, and in that same order, I got some of the uh, new Van Diemen's inks. So I want to swatch those. I've actually, um, I missed out on an opportunity for some of these, uh, um, what am I trying to say? One of these, uh, Van Diemen's inks that, uh, would have been really lovely, but, um, I missed out on it, so that's okay. And then I have a few, um, inks from the Anderson Pens order that I had the other day, and I found these after I finished the swatching video. I was like, oh, I'll just add those to a, a new video. If I have time, um, we will add some of these swatches. I swatched the Pannonia ones before, but I have some other things in here. Um, and some of those, and some of those, and some of those. Like these are all swatches I've had for sitting around forever. Um, actually, I might throw this one in because, I don't know, whatever. The state of swatches, I have a lot of ink to swatch. Before we get started on that, I have a couple things I wanna share. You may have noticed on the channel, we've got some things going on. I have added Ink Splat to my name. Um, we're gonna be slowly, like, I guess, rebranding, um, moving away from just being Mandy B to Ink Splat because I do a lot of Ink Splats, <laughs> especially during 30 Inks um, on this channel. And it's just, it's a name that I've like loved and felt warm fuzzies with and uh, want to incorporate it. So we'll slowly be transitioning. I'm going to have a new profile picture. I'm going to make a new banner. Um, these are going to be slow changes, but they will be happening. So if you've noticed things changing around here, they are, but subtly and slowly. Also, Lynn in the comments uh, mentioned that Schaefer Bling is Schaefer's first shimmer ink. And I was like, excuse me? Shimmer? Because Mountain of Ink says it's not a shimmer. It doesn't mention shimmer anywhere on any of the websites. I've ordered the sample on Anderson Pens. It doesn't say shimmer. Van Ness doesn't say shimmer. The only place that I saw that said it was a shimmer ink is Mike from Ink Dependence. He did a whole video on it. And I don't know if you can see, but the amount of shimmer that I actually have in here is very, very minimal. It's very, very minimal. I don't even know that it would be worth it to like re-swatch it. So I might need to get a bottle of this ink, not because I love the color, but, but for my own freaking experimentation processes. I'm going to link Mike's video in the description and also up here in the cards so you can check it out. But yeah, it's supposed to be a real subtle shimmer, which is probably why nobody thinks it's a shimmer ink. So yeah, I thought with a name like Bling, it should have a little sparkle, but um, I was like, well, maybe it's just Bling because it's like silver and silver jewelry and whatever. I don't know. But yeah, I have zero shimmer on this whatsoever. Um, but apparently there is a little bit of shimmer in the ink. So check out Mike's video if you want to know more about that. Uh, whenever I get around to getting a bottle of it, I'll be doing some experiments of my own. So yes. Also, I mentioned the transcription project that I'm doing. I'll probably do like a whole video on this, but I forgot to grab it while the ink dry the ink swatches were drying and I uh, just wanted to show it off real quick. So I'm doing Anne of Green Gables. This is actually a copy of the book that I received as a Christmas gift from my best friend. Love it, love it, love it. I love this book. It's one of my favorites. As she, my friend, uh, TC, she reads this book like at least once a year and I've seen the movies but hadn't read the book so she gave me the book for Christmas um, 
a few years ago. And by a few, I mean like almost 20. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm like right here. I haven't gotten very far. Um, but the book that I'm using, it's a Taroko. It's a Taroko design. This is um, Tomoe River paper. I think it's the 68 gram. I was originally thinking about using this as uh, like an ink, an ink journal. Um, but, it, but I think having it in the cover, just I really wanted to also... I have many thoughts and uses for this uh, notebook and I was going to do an ink journal and then I decided that I wanted it to be a transcription project and then I was dragging my feet on it. So um, I originally wanted to use this to practice cursive or practice some of the other like handwriting styles that people do but I decided if I, if I waited until I was quote unquote ready, I would never start it. So I just started it. And who knows, maybe later I'll end up incorporating other handwriting styles in as we go, but it's just my normal handwriting. Um, I started with, um, what I'm doing is I'm writing it and when I get to the end of where I'm gonna stop, I will write the ink that was on it. So this, so these, oh, let me get this, let me get this out of there so you can see a little better. So, um, so yeah, so I started with, I'm on chapter one, I'm only on like page four or five of the book, but um, these first couple pages were whatever I had left of my Diamine Earl Grey in my uh, Wicked Witch of the West pen. And then um, I was going to pick a different color, but I really wanted to see what this gray looked like next to this gray. And so I switched to my uh, Walltown Craftworks, which has Kirisami in it from like the last 30 inks. Um, so I'm finishing that up. This converter is actually almost done too. I'm hoping I can finish out the page so I can write the, the ink at the bottom. Um, and then, I'm, then I'll just pick another pen and move on. So I think what I'm gonna do for 30 inks is I will show this off. Like I will, because I try to film my videos ahead of time, I um, will be uh, starting that soon actually. Um, sorry, my leg's itch. Um, and so I'll do like a page in whatever the ink of the day is. Ooh. Um, I haven't decided if I'll do like whole spread of pages or if I'll just do one page and then one page and one page. Um, doing one page significantly slows down the progress, but this way I don't get burned out on it. If I at least do a page, like I know that I'll be happy with that. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do to incorporate that into 30 inks and, um, we'll show some of this off some more, um, as we, as I, as I progress on it. Um, yeah, I just think it'll be f kind of fun and interesting. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you're not interested, um, well, you could skip these videos. I also, um, I think I have this on my Kindle as well. And I know Ramona had said in Instagram that she's also doing the same thing and she's using, um, her like iPad or whatever or Kindle and I think that might be a little easier than having to cart around this book everywhere and keep track of the pages um, so I might so as much as I love having the physical book and it's a gift from a friend and like using it and loving it and just giving it love um, it's been really kind of annoying and difficult to prop the book open <laughs> so I can write so I might end up using my Kindle to do that so yeah but I like the green cover. It was a second chance. It's a Chic Sparrow A5 folio from a second chance sale, I think. And I don't really even know what was wrong with it, but um, yeah, it's, I just, oh, I love it. It just gives me oh, so much joy, so much joy. So I'm using things that I've had lying around and I'm getting to love a book that I love. I'm probably not gonna do the whole series. I'm just gonna do this book. And then if I love doing this and I'm still, wanting to do this. I'll switch to a different book, but maybe Great Gatsby like I was going to start with. I don't know. So yeah, so I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. It's been a nice way to whittle away the evenings. All right, now that we're 10 minutes into this video, let's get to swatching. I am going to be using my coloring cards as usual, and I don't, I, oh, here's the book. Here is this. Eek, eek, let go, let go, let go, let go. I really need to clean up this table some. So, as always, for swatching supplies, I have my uh, coloring cards, I have random craft store paintbrushes, I have my dip pen, my Moon Man Mini glass dip pen that I think I actually need to clean. Oh, no, I did clean. Okay, good. 
um, yeah. So we're gonna start with this Colorverse ink. It's a special, um, special edition of the ink that uh, debuted, I believe, at the DC Pen Show. But Vanessa had it in stock, so I grabbed some. And then I have um, these ink samples. I have another Schaefer ink, Amethyst. And then a couple of the Sconti inks that were um, limited edition inks that came with pens, but Anderson had samples of them, so yay. And then we're gonna do some um, Van Diemen's inks. I have four of their new ones, four of their brand new inks from their Tasmania collection. And then I have two reformulations. I have Black Tongue Spider Orchid and Federation Peak. And um, we will compare them to the old formulas because I have bottles of those. Um, I don't know where my swatch cards are, so we're just going to do swatches in the Hobonichi. And also, I will be swatching these inks in a Hobonichi. I've decided um, there's a lot of pages here, and I don't want to screw up any of the September pages for 30 inks, so I went back to the beginning of the notebook, and we will start swatching there. So yeah, Woo, all over the place. So much, so much news, so much to share. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with these Colorverse inks. I actually have also done swatches on Tumblr River paper because I wanted to see. Um, so, so we do have the Colorverse, the Colorverse packaging. Um, there, oh, there was a card. So Colorverse has like changed their packaging and I feel like they've gotten rid of a lot of the excess stuff, which is great, but they did include the special card which shows the ink and um, still have some of the packaging but the change the biggest change is in here like this used to be foam but now it's like cardboard of some kind and so it's a lot easy to recycle I think so if you don't want to keep all the packaging it's a little less wasteful oh look at that this ink I love the green cast in the bottle this is also green it's not green the ink is not green though but sometimes pinks do that they have like they look green in the bottle but when you actually swatch them they're not so we'll put this all back i actually keep my colorverse boxes i have a drawer that i keep my colorverse inks in um because the boxes fit so nicely and uh, yeah i actually keep all my colorverse packaging until um until the ink is gone which i don't think i've ever gotten rid of an ink oh i take it back i think my vortex mo motion i got rid of that because i gave the small bottle away and was like i don't need this whole box for one bottle of ink and then I think actually I think that's the only one maybe my matter and, and antimatter I got rid of as well I think I took those out because I was using them a lot we'll see anyway it doesn't matter nobody cares about that but I but I do keep the packaging for all my color versions okay unless it's a small bottle but I don't have any of the smaller bottles like I've got a couple of the sample bottles but I don't have any of the 30 mil bottles um yeah so anyway anyway so i'm going to start with butterfly nebula and we have to shake up this like milky shimmer i'll show what it looks like on tomoy river paper as soon as we do the swatches we might get an appearance from pearl she's lying on the floor looking for attention so she might give up and just jump up here because i'm not doing what she wants Look how pretty that looks. I'm trying to get it so the air bubbles aren't in it, but we're definitely gonna have to shake this up a few times. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. It gets very bubbly. I don't know if you saw that. Very bubbly. Huh. I want the ink though. I don't want the bubbles. I want the ink. Give me the ink. Give me ink. Not bubbles. All the shimmer is going to go down to the bottom. Okay. I ordered this from Vanus Pens. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to actually move these over here. Let me get these. And I'm going to shake the ink up again so we get a good, yeah, because all the shimmer. Shimmer settles fast in these color things. <clears throat> Very, very, very pale lavender. Very, very pale. Not for everybody, probably, but I'm going to shake this up one more time because I want to make sure that I get shimmer in this swatch that I'm going to do on the Toy River paper. Hi, Pearl. I'm surprised you're not coming up here to say hi to the pen people. I'm surprised. You don't want to say hi? Are you being shy, Burbur? Miss B. Hello, kitty cat. Come here. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Here, here, here. I will throw your toy. I'll throw your toy. Next up we have, oops. Next up we have NGC 6302. I'm gonna share, I don't think this is a shimmer, but I'm gonna, no it's not, but I'm gonna just do that anyway. Pearl's playing fetch. I actually have another Vanessa order coming, probably Monday or Tuesday. Six three oh two. Because um, because after I placed the order that included uh, these inks, um, the samples of Adventuring came back in stock. So I ordered, um, I ordered those. I ordered a sample of that adventuring, the Ferris Wheel Press adventuring, and then um, I also added some inks that I didn't add to the original order, <laughs> just to make it worth it, because I didn't want to just buy like a sample, so I got a few more samples coming. And then we also have the uh, Sailor 50 State inks coming, I think I said that. So those will both be here probably Monday or Tuesday. My tracking for pen, the pen chalet order says Tuesday, but um, I think it's already like local. So that should be here Monday. That's a very pretty green. I think, um, yeah. So here's what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. This is using a Q-tip swatch. So um, you can see that the NGC has some like pretty dual shading going on. And uh, the shimmer in this, I'm not sure if it's picking up, is very, it's all very subtle and very pretty. So, yeah, I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, speaking of, I forgot to do it on the cream paper. So let me, hi, Burberl. I can't reach the toy. You didn't bring it far enough. Where's your toy? It's not here. I can't get it over there. It's too far away. Come up here. Come up here and say hi to your pen friends. 
So these are the color bars. I'm going to put them away and then we'll get started on the rest of the samples. Okay, I'm going to start with the three inks from Anderson Pens that I didn't swatch the last time because I want to. <laughs> um, so these are actually a couple of these. So I have another Schaefer, Schaefer Amethyst, because I wanted to compare this to the Schaefer Purple. Oh, do I have the swatch card of that? I'll have to see. Because I wanted to see how different this was from the Schaefer Purple. And then I have Visconti Orchard and Blossom and Visconti Old, Vine Old Vineyard with Peasant Woman. Um, these are special edition inks that came with the uh, Visconti Van Gogh pens, and Anderson Pens had samples of them, so I was like, oh sweet, I wanna check them out. I actually almost bought this Orchard in Blossom pen um, gift set thing. Uh, I have stopped myself from buying it probably three or four times. Um, because I don't know why just because I like keep I'm like I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it and then I just I just don't I close the window and I walk away so we're gonna start with a Visconti Orchard and Blossom I don't think I think I've had like a sample of Visconti inks before but I don't think I don't um typically use Visconti inks I think I had a sample of like Visconti green or red or turquoise I don't remember okay so this is from Anderson pens this is Visconti orchard and blossom pretty Um, this one isn't, actually isn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to lean more towards um, a shade of purple I don't like, but this is very pretty. At least in the writing. It's very vibrant. What? Why are you crying? Because you want to play with you? I can't play with you. Your toy's all the way over there. Your toy's all the way over there and you won't come hang out with me, Purple. Come here. Come say hi to the pen friends. Come here. Come here. Do you want to help me swatch ink? Oh, this ink is actually very pretty. I always say it's pretty. Like, they're all always pretty on a swatch card, but I like the um, variation. I like the shade of purple. Um, it it goes down this sort of magenta-y color, magenta color and then dries to this nice pretty color, this nice, like, lavender sort of, like a jewel shady sort of lavender. This is this is really nice. This is I like this a lot better than I thought I was going to. It has it looks kind of blue on this paper here. A little blurple action going on. Not bad. Next up, um, I'm gonna do amethyst because I want to see what the purples look like next to each other. This from Anderson Pens. Oops, I spelled it wrong again. A 
Okay, when I rinsed off my dip pen, it kind of does, not highlightery, but it definitely like, there's like a cloud of magenta. It doesn't magenta up the whole water because it's, it's a small swatch off the dip pen, but it did do like, I call it like highlightery action. Miss P, are you staring at me? Come here. Come say hi. This is lovely. This is a lovely purple. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful shade of purple. I like this a lot. I mean, we'll see what it looks like when it dries, but so far the text, this is Amanda purple. Miss P! And they're completely different. They're completely different purples too. I'm glad I put them next to each other. And next up we have Visconti Old Vineyard with Peasant Woman. I'm not sure if this is a blue or like a blue gray or a gray or a green. I don't know what color this is supposed to be. I don't remember what the pen looks like. We'll find out though. I'm gonna flip this around because I don't want it contaminated with the purple. Sorry my camera keeps moving. The like the my little phone mount is breaking and it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't um it doesn't stay very well i need to get a new one actually i have a new one i just like never use it because i want this one to i want to use this one till it dies <laughs> all right and i got this from anderson pens With, with old vineyard, old with peasant woman. It's like a grayish green or a greeny gray. The chromatography on my paper towel looks really cool. Here, here they are so far. Butterfly Nebula, NGC 6302, Orchard and Blossom, Amethyst, and then so far from the dip pen, this old vineyard with Peasant Woman. So when it's wet, it goes down pretty gray. Actually, I think that is kind of gray. I was thinking it looked a little green, but... I think it's gray. I have a type. Purple and gray. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks more gray, blotting it on the paper towel. Definitely gray. A beautiful one. I know I say that every time. I need better descriptive words. Maybe need to read a thesaurus. I love words, but they've never been my strong suit. Okay, so these are the three from Anderson Pens that I didn't swatch with my last Anderson Pen swatch video. Now we're going to move on to new Van Diemen's inks. 
because I am a Van Diemen's fangirl. I have swatched every Van Diemen's ink that exists, except the reformulations and some of these new ones. I ordered all the ones I could get that Van Ness had in stock that I was certain were um, either the new ones or reformulations. Um, I think, I'm, I'm not for certain, but I think part of why uh, Van Diemen's has had to reformulate some of their inks is because um, they're now like certified Australian handmade. They're, they're like a certified Australian company. And so that means like 95% of the materials they use all come from Australia. And I'm wondering if some of the reformulation is because of um, changing some of their things or maybe things just weren't in stock like they were. Um, okay, so we have Autumn Morning, which is a beautiful shimmer. We have uh, Queenstown Gold Mine, which is also a shimmer. I think all of these are shimmers actually. We have Great Icy Lake and we have a Snowy Mountain Sunset, which I almost bought a bottle of, which I probably will buy a bottle of, but I refrained myself because I bought a couple backup bottles of some of the old formulations. I bought a backup bottle of Tasmania Vine Purple. Um, they didn't have the new formula in stock, uh, so I got a bottle of the old one just because I like that. I actually use that in almost exclusively in this Esterbrook. I've tried, I've been trying to branch out and use other things in this, but I always end up going back to that. It's just a combination I love. And then, um, Federate, not Federation Peak, um, uh, what was the other one I got? Cradle Mountain Gray, because that is probably one of my favorite, uh, Van Diemen's Grays. Um, but I did get samples. Uh, I also got a sample of the Styx Valley Green. Um, I can't remember if that one's being just discontinued or if they reformulated it, but I like that green. I have a sample of it. They didn't have bottles in stock or I probably would have gotten a bottle. Um, but I also got um, Federation Peak. Um, I got the new formula of this one and then, or it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the new formula. Oh, it does say. And then um, also um, Black Tongue Spider Orchid, which is actually my total, my one, my very favorite Van Diemen's ink. I've gone through a bottle. I have a backup bottle of the old formula, um, or I've almost gone through the bottle. I think that's what this is. Um, so we're gonna swatch, we're gonna swatch the old formula versus the new formula as well. So let's get started. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I think I will do, I will have one more spot on my list here. And I think there was one like single sample that I said I would do if I had time, but I'm not seeing it here now. Did I? Oh yeah, here. If I have time, I will probably just do this swatch and then we'll have finished a spread on the Homonichi, which I think is a good stopping place. Yeah, I have a sample of Diatramentis Waffle. It's scented ink. Um, I got it as an inside joke with some with a friend. So um, yeah, I've had it sitting around forever. So let's go ahead and start with, we'll start with Snowy Mountain Sunset because that's the one I'm most excited about. Um, it's a beautiful, like, pinky, purpley sort of thing, and it has, like, this really interesting shimmer. Or maybe the shimmer is pink. I don't remember. It's a beautiful color. And, uh, yes. One I'm definitely... It screams Manda, in my own personal opinion. So, we're gonna... Actually, it looks like it's, like, a bluish gray, and maybe the shimmer is pink. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Got this from Vanna's Pins. This is Van Diemen's Tasmania. I'm going to write a 2022 on here. And this is Snowy Mountain. Snowy Mountain Sunset. Gorgeous. The uh, paper towel chromatography is really pretty on that too. So it's like a lightish blue with like pink shimmer it looks like. 
And I'm going to use one of these paint brushes that soaks up all of the ink. And we're going to get like a super good swatch on this. It's like a rose gold shimmer. Oh, beautiful. I really like the new formulation of Van Diemen shimmer. It seems like it's not as chunky as their old shimmer. And I really, really like that. I never had any problems with clogging from their old formula, but I know some people did. Look at this beautiful, beautiful ink. So much shimmer just went in that paper towel. Gorgeous. I freaking love that. <laughs> so it looks like the shimmer kind of sits in a haze along the vial, the edge of the vial a little bit. So much shimmer. But this ink color is gorgeous. Um, I like the, I like the like sort of baby blue. It looks like yeah, oh, stunning, beautiful, freaking beautiful. Next up, we're gonna go with Icy Great Lake. I'm a Van Diemen's fan girl. I pretty much enjoy m most of the things they come out with. I really, really, really love them. Really love them a whole lot. Like I said, I've swatched every ink that they've come out with so far um, that I can get my hands on. I need to leave more room for that. And this is Great Icy Lake. Icy Great Lake. This base color is really stunning. I think it's blue shimmer. We're gonna shake it up again. Look at that. Look at that just on the brush even. This base color is so pretty. I put a little more ink. Just a teeny tiny itty bitty spot. Let's color it in. Very pretty. I cannot wait to see what this looks like dry with the shimmer. It is an icy blue shimmer in the text. You can see that. Still here. Okay, I have two more of the new ones. So we have Autumn Morning and uh, Queenstown Gold Mine. Look at the shimmer in that. The shimmer on this sample ended up all on the side, so I'm gonna have to. Here's where we are so far. I don't usually show like sneak peeks. Of, look at that. Look at that. It's like dual shady plus shimmer. Oh. 
I should have just gotten a bottle of that snow set or sunset. Should have just done it. Should have just done it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll live. We don't need all the inks. We don't need all the inks. Maybe if I use up the sample. It's a problem. I have a problem. I know I have a problem. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, let's start with Queenstown Gold Mine. This, I'm not sure. It seems like a lot of the shimmer has um, stuck to the side, but there is some in here. I'm interested to see what this base color looks like. This is from Vanna's Pins. This is a very warm I think it's brown or red. I can't tell. Again. I didn't write 2022 on the other ones. I'm just writing 2022 because they had their original line, which was like basically the colors of Tasmania. So, um, Queenstown Gold. So I just want to make sure, like, when I, I have a ring, I can't find it, of course. Um, I have a ring of Van Diemen's inks. I to keep all the Van Diemen's inks on because I am such a fangirl and I have swatched all their ink and I want them easily accessible. Um, easily accessible until I lose the ring. Um, I have, I have actually, after this video, after this video and the, getting the Sailor ink, ink video up, I have plans to clean my room, which will help. I always have this grand idea of um, putting the ink swatches all in one place so I can see them or I can access them. And then I know I just, if I do that, I just never put them back. I'm, just, ugh, I'm such a mess. This base color is so warm and so cozy. I really enjoy this base color a whole lot. Like, this is like a, um, it reminds me a little of one of, like a couple of their Hollywood inks. I'm not sure, I don't remember which one. But I know that, um, is there, I want to say maybe Rita Hayworth was this beautiful brown, like orangey reddish brown. The shimmer on this is lovely. Can't wait to see what that looks like dry. So far, I'm a big fan of it. Okay, next up we have another... I'm not sure if it's brown or whatever, but autumn morning. Be nice to compare this to the other one. So glad I'm able to do that. I feel like this might be more orangey. Kind of caramely a little bit. Actually, I don't use this brush. 
these shorter brushes that I have, I don't like them so much because uh, they, they make, they're a little, I don't know, they're just, they're not as wet as the other brushes I have. So let's shake this up because it's been sitting. So I like these uh, longer brushes a lot more. It's usually a, a wetter swatch. Looks like ooey gooey molten caramel. Also a beautiful color. Probably not one I would gravitate towards from too, but um, the chromatography in this is interesting. If it'll do it, I covered it up. Here we are so far. <laughs> So we have Butterfly Nebula, the NGC 6302, Orchard and Blossom, Amethyst, the Old Vineyard. Then we have the Snowy Mountain, Sunset, Icy Great Lake, um, Gold Mine, Queenstown Gold Mine, and then we have the Autumn Morning. It definitely looks like autumn leaves in this here. I like the shimmer and the text on this one. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, so now we have, where did I put them? I talked about them, I had them in my hands. Here we go. Now we have the, uh, new formula of black tongue spider orchid and the new formula of federation peak and then what i will do is on the hobonichi page i will put um, a paint swatch of the original ones right next to it so i'll do the i'll do the new formula of one of them and the old formula and then the new formula and the old formula and we could see what they look like on the tomoe river paper and then we'll also do a swatch card um, I don't have my swatch cards available to show. I have Black Tongue Spider Orchid right here, but I don't have Federation Peak. So, um, yeah, I looked for that for a long time and still haven't found it. It's part of my room cleaning. <laughs> it's so dumb because I saw that I always see them and I'm like, oh, I need to put this somewhere because I'm going to need these. And then I just, I, do, I don't know where I put them or a pearl knocks them over. I know I'm blaming the cat, but she does. I put them up on a bookshelf and she gets up there and knocks it down, so... You know, cats. Cats get a cat. I'm gonna start with Federation Peak because that's the one I grabbed. Although, actually, I'm gonna save that one. I'll do Federation Peak next because it'll next it'll end up being next to the Visconti Gray, and then we can see what it looks like next to another gray. Okay, so we'll do the new formula of Black Tongue Spider Orchid. I am apprehensive of this because I love the old one so much, and I hope that it's. I hope that I still like it. Let's zoom in a little for this one. This is Wilderness. 2022. Okay, so far in the glass dip writing, it's really, it's not too far off. It seems like it might be a little darker. Again, this is just the writing. We haven't done the swatch yet. seems like it might be a slightly touch darker. We still get a lot of the nice shading, which is what it, one of the things I love about that ink. Um, and yeah, maybe a little more vibrant. Because the original was kind of a little muted, sort of. Oh, st 
still amazing. Still amazing. Still amazing. It seems like it might be a little more... Um, a little pinker. It's not dry yet, though, so we'll wait till it dries to make full, um, to make a full, uh, full opinion on it, but, yes. Oh, I still love it. I still love it. I still love it. I'm happy. I'm happy. Even if it's different. Even if it's different, slightly different, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. This is not a change that I'm upset about. This is no slag gray situation, which I have to admit, anytime things get reformulated, I'm scared of now. I think this will be fine. This will be fine. I'm going to do the Hobonichi swatch. Look, I'm almost done with this bottle of ink. I'm almost finished with this bottle. There's not much left. Should probably just transfer it to a vial. I already have a backup bottle of this, so I didn't get a backup bottle of it. I know it's not dry yet, but here's my card so far. So far it seems a little more vibrant, not as muted. But it's still drying, so we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. We're not gonna rush it. We won't rush opinions. I like it though. Oh, I've got shimmer? There must've been shimmer in this brush. Still. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I don't care if the ink. I don't care if this watch is shimmery. Okay. Although this water is shimmery. I'm going to change my water out even though we're almost done. Okay, I'm back. I only have three more inks to swatch, so... It's fine. Um, okay card for our new wilderness is also part of the or I'm sorry Federation Peak is also part of the wilderness series so um, yeah this one through those pins Do new Federation Peak. Oh, this is still lovely. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm pleased. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, so that's the sample, and I'm going to do
Okay, they are different, but I'm, I'm still pleased. Not like, it's not like a horrible difference. Um, okay, and then last but certainly not least, it does look a little more green-ish on the swatch card, I think, but it's still drying, so. Um, next up, I'm going to try this. I actually got this sample at the same time I got my sample of this uh, Scribo Noturno Viola. And it's just been sitting here. It's scented. It's supposed to scent, smell like waffles. It smells kind of like... It smells like it wants to be maple syrupy, but it also smells like soap. <laughs> it's like a Bath and Body Works maple syrup waffly smell, sort of. Not, it's not very, it's not super overpowered, but still. So I got this waffles ink just as a, uh, like an inside joke, um, with some, with a friend. Hi girl. I ordered this from, this is from Vanna's Pens, but I'm just now getting to swatch it because I'm terrible. I don't know what base color, I don't know what Diatrimentus base color this is. This is actually like a color that I probably wouldn't gravitate towards at all. Literally just got it because of the name. Definitely not a yellow I like at all, but definitely also looks pretty waffly. Smells like maple syrup. So, Pearl, what the heck? Are you okay? She scared herself. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. The rest of the swatches are pretty dry, so we um, will look at those and we'll look at that one last. I don't need to pause to come back because the rest of the swatches are pretty dry. So here's what we have on our Tomoe River paper so far. I will definitely be uh, labeling these after the video. So we have um, Colorburst Butterfly Nebula, Colorburst NGC 6302, Visconti Orchard and Blossom. This is really, I like this one a whole lot more than I thought I would. I prefer it in its wet color versus its dry color, but it's, I like this one. Um, then we have Shaver Amethyst, which I really think I like. Uh, I like, like this is, this is a me purple. Um, we have uh, Visconti. Wait, what do we have? What do we do next? Yes, Visconti Vineyard. Old Vineyard with Peasant Woman. And then we did the uh, Snowy Mountain Sunset from Van Diemen's. Icy Great Lake from Van Diemen's. Okay, we do see the shimmer. This is a Queenstown Gold Mine. Autumn Morning. I don't necessarily like the base color on this, but I like the color of shimmer with it. Then we have new black orchid, which is interesting to me because the swatch of this one looks more like my swatch card of the original formula. And this swatch looks more like um, my swatch card of the new formula. So they look def different on paper on the paper. And same with this, this is the, old, this is the new Federation Peak Gray. I don't have my swatch card for Federation Peak Gray for the old one, but the application 
of this on the Tomoe River paper looks different. I prefer the application of the old version versus the new versions. Um, but this is a, in a paint swatch. I would have to put them in pens to really to really test. And then we have a uh, waffle. A diatromentous waffle. So yeah, very nice, very nice. Let's look at our swatch card. Actually, before we look at our swatch cards, here's our chromatography, our fake chromatography. So we have um, Butterfly Nebula, NGC 6302, Blossom, Orchard and Blossom, Amethyst, the, uh, the old vineyard with Peasant Woman. Here we have Snowy Mountain Sunset with this beautiful shimmer. It's like rose gold, sort of champagne shimmer. Then we have gr Icy Great Lake, which is just this beautiful blue. And this um, really cool blue shimmer. Then we have Queenstown Gold Mine. I like the chromatography on this one. Then we have Autumn Morning, which when I did the um, I did the dip pen um, blotting and then touched that with water, this uh, orangey part looked a little more pink, um, but it looks pretty orange on this on here. And then we have this is old spider orchid. This is new spider, sorry, this is new spider orchid. This is old spider orchid. So you see there's a lot more blue purple. This one looks a little more purpley and dark. This one looks a little more uh, pinky. Then we have, this is new Federation Peak and old Federation Peak. So there are some differences. And then here's Waffle, which looks, I don't know, looks like a, it looks gross actually. Um, so yeah, so you can kind of see some of the formulation changes in these. These are actually pretty close. I don't, I'm not, I don't mind them. Again, I would have to try these in pens. I love the old formula so much, but the the writing on the swatch card with the new formula looked just fine. So I'm pleased. Let's look at our swatch cards. We have Colorverse Butterfly Nebula. This ink is, I don't, this, it goes down so light that I don't know that this is one that I would write with a whole lot. We might see it for 30 inks, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't know if it's practical for my writing purposes, but it's beautiful. And then we have Colorverse NGC 6302, and watery green like so many of the sort of dual shady pale greens. It's beautiful. Did I need to get this? Probably not. Did I need to get this? Not at all. I didn't. I didn't. I have inks that kind of look like that. Unless you're just like a super space nerd that has to have these or a Colorverse um, fan who wants to have all the Colorverse. I don't, I don't know. If you have colors like this in your, in your collection, you probably don't need it. Visconti, Orchard and Blossom. I really... I keep going back and forth on this. It's typically not a shade or a uh, hue that I go towards, but I really like I really like this particular one. Then we have Schaefer Amethyst, which is just rich and vibrant. And oh, I like this a whole lot. Then we did uh, Visconti Vineyard with Peasant Woman. Looks like we get some pink a little bit in here. It looks a little pink in some of these lighter shades, but that's a beautiful gray, beautiful gray. Um, what do we do next? Then we did our snowy mountain sunset. <laughs> it kind of does that thing. I was going to say it kind of does that thing like Vinta inks do sometimes where the shimmer makes it look dirty, but honestly, it just goes together so well that it just makes it look pink. It doesn't make it look dirty or anything. It's like a champagne-y sort of shimmer. It's like rose gold and champagne. This is stunning. If I use the sample up a whole lot, I may end up getting a bottle of that. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it, but has that ever stopped me before? No. So this Van Diemen's Icy Great Lake definitely looks icy. The shimmer looks more sh silver now than blue, but it looked blue before. So maybe the blue is reflecting it. I don't know. But this definitely reminds me of like, a, yeah, I can see it. It looks like an iceberg floating in a lake 
or the ocean or whatever. It's a pretty color. I like the base color on that as well. Um, I'm trying to think of applications I could have that for that. Just I mean, just using it, I guess. This is one though. This is one though that if the if the light hits it just right, it looks more dirty than uh, shimmery. So there's that. Um, it doesn't bother me on this though. It doesn't bother me like it does on other ones. Then we have Queenstown Gold Mine. I love the shimmer on this. I love the base color. I love the shimmer. This reminds me a little bit of Huan Midwinter Festival, but not as it, the brown's not as dark. And I think it's a similar uh, shimmer, shimmer variety though. Gorgeous. Looks like you could also have some nice shading. It may be, the shading may get overpowered by the shimmer, but there definitely is shading in the ink. You could see it in the 2022. Also like the, uh, in the D.I.E. and Demons is um, a lot darker than some of the other text. Goldmine, Tasmania even. Definitely get some nice shading. Then we have Autumn Morning, which reminds me a little too much now that I'm seeing it dry of uh, the Pelican Golden Barrel. It's not as, like the base color is different but it just it gives me that sort of vibe and i that's not i think golden barrel is yellower and brighter i think but it gives me that sort of vibe and it's not something that i really uh enjoy but i like the swatch on the tomo river paper so i don't know i don't know we all know oranges are, orangey colors are not really my super vibe, but then we have that Federation Peak. Black Tongue Spider Orchid. I'm glad that I like these two inks still in their new in their new um, formula formulation. And then we have Detrimentous Waffles, which yep, yeah, still smells like maple soap. <laughs> This color is awful. I don't like the color, but it was good for the it was good for the memes. It was good for the inside joke. So, do I have favorites of these? I would say that I really love the Schaefer Amethyst. I really love this that of the two purples. I think I like this one better, but I really enjoyed this one. These are still favorites. I really enjoyed that one as well. Oh, you can't even see it. I pulled it off screen. You go. I would say these are probably my favorites of the ones I swatched. I mean, these are givens because I already let, have the old formula, but of the newer inks that I've swatched, these three are probably my favorite. I really like this one though. But if uh, having these two next to each other, I definitely gravitate towards that one more. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this swatching video. As you've seen, we still have lots of ink to swatch. Let's look, let's see what we have. I have some Diplomat inks to swatch. There's some Pen BBS in there. Um, I don't even remember what Turtle sent me, just a bunch of stuff that she was getting rid of. Um, so yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this swatching video. I will have another one coming up soon because I'm getting some new inks probably tomorrow or Tuesday. By tomorrow, I mean Monday, Monday or Tuesday. I'm filming this on Sunday. Um, this might not go up till Monday though, but, uh, cause I want to get that, I want to get that 50 States, uh, video done. That's the priority. I have to get that done. Um, so you'll probably see this in a few days, but, uh, yeah, I will have more inks to swatch. We've got the next two 50 States, which spoiler alert are Maine and Wyoming. Um, Mike, Oh, I forget his last name. I'll link him down below, but he does a lot. He does all the artwork for the 50 states where he does like a, the state and the, uses the ink and does water brush and oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I'm sure that you've seen them. So I'll link him down below. Um, he's posted pictures of them. Also Sailor Pen North America on Instagram has posted pictures of them. It's like a grayish brown sort of color, which I've already seen a comment on one of the posts that people aren't 
at least at least one person is not happy with that uh, decision um, of it being a grayish brown um, and then Wyoming is like a bright green either way two colors I'm very excited about adding to the sailor collection so um, looking forward to that and um, yeah I uh, will see you again very soon we've got 30 inks coming up I'm probably gonna start recording those this week as well to get a little bit ahead um, and yeah so much so many good things coming and yeah just thank you all so much for being here thank you for watching thank you for all the support thank you for all the love thank you for commenting if you comment if you don't comment just thank you for watching and being here at all um yeah to my gamer friends who are here hanging about i love you um to anybody here that's hanging out you're amazing and wonderful and you have great taste in youtube <laughs> Check out that um, ink dependence video on uh, Schaefer Bling. Um, again, I'm going to have to do some experimenting on my own. Um, check out so many, so many nice people to check out. Just check out, just go watch everybody on YouTube, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so I will talk to you again very soon. Take care. Love you.